Angelo, and this is where Dubai gets serious about power kiting. In a country made up mostly of desert, power kiting is growing at a phenomenal rate. We take a look at the sport through the eyes of the Emirates' very own kite man, Angelo Manacero. On a typical day, we will rig ourselves up onto the trailer, put in there the buggy, the kites. As soon as we find a, a, a good location, out comes the, uh, the buggy first. First the rear axle, and then we bring up the front axle with the seat. You attach them by inserting the rear frame of the front axle onto the rear axle sockets and clipping the seat together. There are different kinds of buggies for different terrain. This one is called a Bigfoot buggy. As you can see, the tires are pretty wide and it can ride on extremely soft sand. It can even float on water. And these are not your usual kites for the park or on the beach. Depending on their size and the conditions, they can help the power kiter reach up to 60 kilometers an hour. On the topic of kites, as you can see, we have a variety of kites. They range from parafoils, which are inflatable kites, which are double skin. A larger kite doesn't mean to say you get more power. Okay. You get more drag also. Over the past five years, the sport has been gaining popularity in the UAE. It is the extreme nature that brings a variety of nationalities together. Once the, the kite is moving, that is when the power is generated, not just by having the kite up in the air. Once you start accelerating, you start generating the power. On a buggy, you're relying on nothing but nature, the wind. Power kiting is no safe sport. It's on the edge, danger at its most extreme. Through terrain that is totally undeveloped, uninhabited, never treaded before. When you get a into more desert conditions, more dune areas, and you start going up and down the dunes, there are obviously a variety of conditions. Rolling dunes, which are smooth up, smooth down, or wind sweep wind dunes, which are smooth up and then a sharp down. When you accelerate up a dune, and the kite takes you off, three wheels off the ground. Oh boy. That's the feeling of almost like parachuting. And then you come down nicely. And then, once you accelerate the kite, you pick up and off you go again. So the feeling is much more exciting, much more noble than any, anything you can try. On a buggy, it's you and the wind, nothing else. We will be back when the wind returns. <laughs>